Hola, bienvenidos nuevamente. Retomamos con el Foro Público de Políticas. Seguimos Hello. con este último... Welcome back. We're going to continue on with the final slot of the day. So I'll now give the floor to the chair so we can keep going. Muchas gracias, Macarena. Thank you, Macarena. We are all muted everywhere, so I got a little bit lost. Okay. We will now go to the next uh, presentation, the LAC 2025 adoption of policy to be discussed in the forum consensus and the work document. Let's welcome Arturo Servin, who is the author of the proposal. And let me remind you that you have seven minutes to present your proposal. Thank you, Arturo. Arturo, are you there? Que tengo que hacer aquí una unos malabares porque tengo que. Sorry, I I am on two computers. Oh, yeah. sí, es mi mano. Este... I see ah. one hand. Yes, that's that's my hand. I'm juggling with so I'm, I'm juggling with so many things. Bueno, siete minutos. Perfecto, ¿eh? You have seven, seven minutes. Okay, I will present policy proposal LAC 2025 is the adoption of policies to be discussed in the public forum, discussion list and consensus as the document group. This could be conceived as a pre-proposal. We can use other descriptions. This is the first iteration of this idea. As a summary is that we are proposing a process where for a policy proposal to be formally discussed under the list, then presented at the forum and then call for consensus, it has to first be accepted for discussion by the community. Maybe we can adopt it as a working group, as a formal proposal or some other way. Why? Why do you want to that? Why do we want to do this? Why the, this proposal? Currently, any person can submit a policy proposal to be discussed in the list and public forum. This is very open, which is positive, but at the same time makes the, the process susceptible to discussing proposals that are not relevant or do not propose significant or important changes. Therefore, we're going to maybe divert our attention from more important discussions. Currently, there is no specific mechanism that can be quantified to identify which proposals are interesting and which ones aren't. So if the number of comments, for example, can give you an idea as to where the community is interested in discussing that policy or not, well, yeah, but that is very subjective. We need something that really can be uh, quantified. The process, and I think this is the most important are the current process to assess the relevance of a certain policy and um, a relevance to, to resolve a problem. It's done in the same, in the same step, which uh, means that we will have very long discussions and not very inclusive for those who do not have a lot of time to devote to the PDP. So whether it is an important problem or how to resolve it, the, 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 the fact that we need to discuss this at the same time really makes the, the process more complicated. How to do this? We are going to divide the evaluation process in two. And divide on screen is in bold because this, this proposal is adding thing and that's what's been said and that's not the case. Everything is there. Now we are discussing whether a policy is relevant and we need to decide it's really useful or not. So what this policies proposal is to explicitly divide that step in two, which I think makes the process more simple. This is a simplified process and you can see the text uh, of the policy, but basically we are sending the policy, we submit the policy, the community makes observations, comments, whether it's interesting, if they want to work on it or not. And then we evaluate consensus, the chairs, we evaluate consensus, which of course is important to know if 
we want to discuss and work on it and then we would give that we take the next step as we're doing today otherwise it will be dropped yeah i just uh, i will speak a bit more slowly yes i'm sorry to the translators i know it happens to me all the time but what are the metrics the number of proposals to be adopted and reached consensus it should go up in theory why because proposals are now easier easier to discuss the number of proposals to be adopted and uh, and dropped should go down why because we are going to discard or we're going to drop these proposals in the first stages of the process. The adoption time should also be shorter. And the, the, the process of those proposals that are not adopted or are dropped should also be shorter. Why? Because we will remove them at the beginning and because the process is now made more simple. What are the advantages? The process is made more efficient. We are dividing a step that is currently very complex. We are dividing it into how to solve the problem in two stages rather than addressing it all at once. It really simplifies discussions in the solution stage. Why? Because we are no longer discussion over and over whether this problem is important or not and how to solve it. I think that many of the discussions that we have today is that many of us do not agree there's a problem in the first place, or we might not agree on what the solution is. But it is hard, I know, sometimes to divide this to promote a mechanism whether the community and the chairs can identify subject matters that are important or not important and act accordingly. For example, which policies we need to discuss in the forum because maybe these are the subject matters the community wants to work on. And finally, we're going to make discussions more simple, more organized. And I think the process is made more inclusive because we're giving those who do not have a lot of time to work on this, we're giving them a chance to participate. What are the disadvantages or the risks. I don't think I agree with what was commented or observed in the list that it might cause barrier to participation if it's not executed correctly. It is adding work to the chairs in the first stage and there's a star there and I will explain it in a minute. And there's more red tape, more paperwork. I don't think this is the case. For example, when we're working on a jigsaw puzzle, when we're working on a jigsaw puzzle, you don't really start working on it immediately, but rather you would look at the pieces, you are more methodic, maybe you will choose the ones that go in the corners and the edges or even colors. This could be seen as bureaucracy or red tape because it takes you some time to sort all the pieces out. But at the end of the day, when you are really uh, putting together a jigsaw puzzle will be more efficient if you take your time in advance. And I think this is a good analogy to the process that I'm trying to describe. Conclusions, the current uh, policy adoption process is not efficient, it's very complex. And if we divide the process in two in more simple activities, if we don't add additional stages, we are just dividing a process that is in place. We are just dividing it. We are making it more evident. We are separating it in a more efficient manner. And this allows us to make the, the, the process more simple, more efficient, more participative, and more inclusive above all. That is all. And thank you very much. Gracias. Thank you. Obrigado. Estás muteado, Tomás. Estoy en mute. Ok, Tomás, siete you're minutos. Muted. Ok, we have seven minutes, Arturo. So you can go more, speak more slowly next time. So this is a, a proposal that's been recently published. So LACTIC has not undertaken any impact assessment yet. So we will go straight to the discussion. We usually would invite you to share your comments, observation, and doubts in the Q&A section. If you agree, state why you agree. And if you are against, state why you're against. And if you have any questions, of course, the author can answer your questions. And now let's go to our star secretary. Thank you, Tomas. I'm sorry. Thank you, Arie. Thank you, Ariel. No, I'm sorry. Thank you, Tomás. Jordi says that we agree on that. He doesn't say what that is. But yeah, we're really going to do it. And LACNIC has done it in four weeks. El problema es que cuando los autores y la comunidad no saben... Virtual, the problem is that when authors in the community... I think, Jordi, that comment 
refers to the the last policy sí, well, propuesta, proposals we're speaking about proposals okay. not policies that is the answer to a to a question another question i'm sorry jordi i made a mistake ricardo says i agree what the author said is correct it is important to organize discussions better fernando frediani in español fernando frediani says in spanish what this proposal is doing is making everything more complicated and adding red tape. It just doesn't make sense to have a discussion whether we'll see that we're going to discuss or not a new proposal. Then proposals are being discussed. I mean, this allows a possibility for manipulation in the under the PDP by a particular group of people. Arturo, I, I don't think that this allows for manipulation. We do not agree on that. I don't think we are adding more red tape. As I gave an example, the red tape, the jigsaw puzzle, I mean, the steps are there. We are now deciding whether a policy is solving a problem or not and how it does that. And what we're doing now, it's just dividing one step into two. I'm not adding further steps, but rather making a certain process more simple, Fernando. And I have discussed this in the forum and we still don't, in the list, I'm sorry, but we, we still do not agree on it. Mundo Cáceres says he's in favor. I think the current process could be attacked, quote unquote, with uh, proposals that do not add value, but we still need to discuss them. So this process would allow us to, to, to sort the proposals at the beginning. Cesar Labrador says, I agree, it creates regulations for more exact, precise, or accurate proposals and discussions to be more efficient. Now, my question is, uh, how long do you estimate for the first stage? Uh, yes, I think uh, it was a month. I did not mention that in my presentation, but uh, if my memory is correct, I think it would be one month. I mean, I can take a look at it and then let you know. But of course, this is up for discussion. Maybe one month, that is just uh, uh, an idea. Jordi Palet says in Spanish, I do not agree with this proposal. I don't think it. I don't think it makes it more participative or more inclusive, but rather it helps those who contribute the most. And I think it's not, it is not clear. Moderators or chairs can already prioritize themselves and actually they have done it. I do not agree with Jordi at all. I think the current process is very complex. I think there are many proposals that do not have content at all and really don't add much value. So, I mean, although the process is an open process, sometimes it is necessary. We are not censoring, I mean, we're prioritizing. So I think that it would be important to be able to do so. The current process is not participative. It's not inclusive at all. So we, we do not agree. We don't agree at all. I think this will make it more inclusive, more participatory. Facundo Tanjoser says he's in favor of this proposal. Roger Jimenez, he says he's in favor. I think the proposal helps optimize the number of policies to be discussed to those that are absolutely necessary to be validated by the forum. Arturo, let me know if you want to add something. I think there's another another proposal after this, the Alejandro's proposal that also deals with the same. And Esteban, I don't know, I think Alejandro and Esteban are the authors and they discuss something similar. I think it also be very interesting to see what we can draw from these two. I'm not saying this is the only solution. I think there can be different solutions. Uh, but I think that it's important to stress the fact that we have this problem, we need to solve it, we need to make the process more efficient. So thank you to those who said you're in favor. And I think we need to keep working on this. This is not very well resolved because uh, we need to keep going. Okay. Ricardo Patara says those who are contributing would need to continue doing so, but in a more organized manner. Yes, I agree. So if it's worth it, we will discuss it for four weeks. If it's not worth it, we'll drop it. Uh, 
in advance. Yes, of course. I mean, those those terms can change. We can add uh, as some aspects as uh, Alejandro is suggesting. Of course, it is flexible. I suggest uh, reading the latest report. I suppose the report that was in the list. If we were going to consider something like this, we should state a deadline. Since this proposal and next proposal are very similar, I, 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 I suggest they merge. We merge these two. Ah, you didn't say who made that comment. Cesar Labrador, also in Spanish. I think that two months would be better for the first stage since there are some proposals that are more complex or technical. And this would allow people more time to address it and to discuss it, to, to really consider which should, should which ones should be discussed. I have no objections to those changes. We can fine tune those those details as we move forward. Fernando Frediani says we are not going to improve or we are not going to promote more participants. People who consider PDP important will do it, will participate, and this uh, proposal will not change that. I do not agree with that. I think that saying that, oh, well, people need to devote their time or make time for this, I think it's incorrect. As LACNIC, as a community, we need to fight, uh, to fight everyone's well-being, and we cannot force people to work more. We all have a lot to do. We have our day-to-day -day jobs, our families. We need to work out, have fun, go to the movies, etc. So it is our responsibility to really make a process more efficient so people can participate more actively. So I don't agree with that comment. Thank you, Arturo. Jordi Palet says that deadline is the expiry date. I think, yeah, Jordi, I think every, everyone understood the same. Jordi says that membership uh, should consider PDP as part of their, their jobs. Yes, maybe. However, the fact that it is their job, it doesn't mean that it needs to be complicated and really hard to do. It has to be accessible to all. Because, I mean, okay, that's your job, but we need to make it attractive. We need to make it easy to understand, easy to discuss. I don't think that's the case nowadays. Tenemos tiempo, Carlos. Fernando Frediani in Spanish says maybe people want to have more time to participate, but they cannot use that time. And maybe they're blaming this on the PDP. I don't think it's about blaming the PDP, the fact that people cannot discuss or have no time. We're blaming the PDP because it is inefficient. That's what we need to say. The PDP is not efficient as it is today. Bueno. Um... Some people are writing in the, in the chat room, like Eunice Perez. Those of you who are writing in the chat, uh, in, in, in Zoom's webinar chat, please do, do so on the Q&A. Okay, we'll wait 30 seconds. Ahí vino. Gracias, Perfecto. <risa> Gracias. Todo tuyo, Carlos. Carlos. Ah, ya sí, pensé que ya lo había leído. <risa> no. no, Eunice Pérez. Eh, dice Eunice que... Pérez says that she agrees. The fact that it is accessible, we allow for more people to participate. Bueno, muchas gracias. Perfect. Eh, bien. Gracias eh, al autor. Y... Okay, thank you to the author. Thank you for your time. Thank you for, thank you to everyone who made comments. Thank you all for sharing your opinion. And now let's get a sense of how the room feels to consider it for consensus. Once again, remember that we are not voting. We are just getting a feel of what everyone feels. 
consensus will take this into account, the comments on the list, and the comments made in this form. So this should not be considered voting. So let's look at the poll. So let us start with the poll. If you hear a piano in the background, I have piano lessons with my kids parallel to the meeting. ¿De qué clase de piano estamos hablando? What type of piano are we speaking of? Diferencia entre piano. Well, ¿Sabes que tengo tengo un, un piano? You know, <laughs> no puedo decir este chiste acá. Cabeza. I cannot make this joke here. Sí, sí, All right. Entre siete personas. We moved it. We had to move it between seven people. Well, <laughs> yes. Well, you know, these old pianos, Partitura y empieza a tocar where solo. you put the, the notes and then it starts to play on its own. I had a friend, well, who had one of those pianos. Bueno. Ah, pasó el minuto. Bueno. Ya pasó el right. minuto. The minute is up. All right. Un segundito que tomamos. Sí. Bien. Bueno. Bien. All right. Eh, muchas gracias a todos. Thank you very much to all of you for participating. The proposal LAC 2025 version one adoption of policy proposal in the mailing list and call for consensus as a working document still in the initial discussion stage. And this will require finish after eight weeks of discussion on November 13th this year. So as from November 13, and until two weeks later, the moderator will communicate the, this to the community, namely if we reach consensus or not. So we invite you to continue the discussion in the policy list. Thank you very much to everyone.